Hello, my name is Trini Trinidad. In my years of serving our country in the United States Air Force and as a police officer for the San Antonio Police Department, I've seen a lot of tragic events. I've been a part of a lot of critical incidents. I've had people cry on my shoulders. I've held their hands in an attempt to bring calm to chaos. We typically are there for others and a majority of our career consists of that. But what happens when that critical incident and that tragic event takes place to you, the officer? You spend so much time there for other people trying to solve their problems. And sometimes you forget how to solve your own or don't want to reach out because you feel like you don't want to ask for help. We're here today to help an officer who's gone through a traumatic, critical incident that has nothing to do with being on the streets. Instead, this hit home. It's a tragic loss. We're here to support him. That's what this episode is about, and I hope you are moved by this. I do want to sincerely thank you guys for involving me uh, in this effort. Uh, it's a very big honor. On that note, uh, hey, let's just go ahead and introduce yourself for people who are tuning in. Yes, thank you. I uh, really do appreciate it, Trini. The, the help that you guys have been giving us has been phenomenal. I really want to thank you. Very for that. welcome. So my name is Gal Maldonado. Um, did five five years down here in San Antonio. We moved down here about five and a half years ago, mm. and uh, honestly, just been loving it ever since. Um, You're saying down here? Yeah. So originally from New York, um, right. got out where the getting was good. You know? Yeah, I got you. I got <laughs> so, you. Uh, love love New York for you know my family and everything else like that, but it, you know kind of becomes a very difficult place to to live and start raising a family especially yep. you know housing prices everything else yeah, like that yeah. kind of go f through the roof so but yeah coming down here to san antonio especially with sapd um having probably the best package when it comes to pay benefits and everything else like that that's yeah. exactly why i came down here especially the the city itself which from when i came down has always been in love with their law enforcement i mean i know we've had our issues but it always seems that um, every uh, every time I, I walk into a place, somebody's always saying thank you. Hey, man, the city is you know? great. San Antonio is great for that. Uh, yeah. That's one thing I've always loved. Uh, the citizens of San Antonio, I mean, m better than most cities, in my opinion, uh, treat us just very well. So yeah. I'm very happy to be here. So I hear yeah. where you're coming from. Yeah, man. Thank you. Sergio? So my name is Sergio Hernandez. I am a 21-year uh, veteran of the San Antonio Police Department. Um you know, enjoyed it. It's been an awesome time. I've had a great experience with the department, especially with the city. Um, you know, it's it's got a it's a big city, but it's got a small town feeling. Yep. Um, I'm from Eagle Pass, Texas, so right. that's a very small town. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, thank you, Trini, Audrey, all right. Deanna, all your staff for the um, opportunity to you know get this message out. Um, and I'm looking forward to this podcast awesome man yeah you know, you're very welcome yes. i'll tell you about eagle pass we went down there and competed in a in a football football game and they won and still threw rocks at our bus <laughs> when we we're driving away man those guys are wow. rough down there yeah yeah we, we you know we're, we're known to get a little crazy at times but i mean it is what it is you know uh, i got you yeah. well hey man tradition I, you know we're uh, the rocks <laughs> yes so you know we're we're here, obviously, you know, caring for the Kalungas. And uh, this is a very intimate type of situation. It's very difficult to 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 talk about. Um, at the same time, we need to be able to bring awareness to the situation because we are looking for our community, that wonderful community we just talked about, to be able to to show their love and support for a family. Outside of being a police officer, outside of all of that, just a family that's really going through a difficult time. So uh Gallo, I want you to go ahead and just take the lead when it comes to the family, if you can just describe the family. Or. So uh, when I came down to San Antonio, I didn't have many people that I knew, obviously. So I started off pretty much, I think, from two weeks once we moved down. I started the academy, um, did eight months in the academy, which is a pretty fun, awesome time. Uh, Gabe was from El Paso. He wasn't from around here. Um, Quite honestly, he was, he was always the quiet guy in the room. He was that, that perfect uh, 
uh, proverb, or maybe not a proverb, I forget the, the correct verbiage for it, but, you know, being the, always being quiet, but always kind of carrying a big stick. The mm. guy, there's always somebody you want, you wanted in your corner, man. Gotcha. And, um, so, uh, so we have Gabe. Yeah. Ashley, uh, his wife. Okay. Um, and then Junior, their, their four-year-old son. So, um, unfortunately, uh, Gabe was out training, uh, Jan, uh, sorry, June 5th, and um, along the course of his training, he had attempted to, to get a hold of, of Ashley, his wife, um, and he was unable to do so um, until finally he was able to, when he called her cell phone, um, Junior had actually picked up the phone and uh, told him that, you know, asked, uh, <clears throat> asked Gabe to come home. And so uh, he did, and unfortunately, Ashley had to had already uh, she had already passed away. Um, it was a very sudden, unexpected thing that that happened. And um, man, it's you figure like you keep talking about it over and over again. Um, would kind of help with the uh, the emotional aspect of it, but um, it doesn't, man. It's it's a it's it's a very difficult thing because you know we we look at a picture of Ashley you know she's she's young, she's twenty six years old, you know being supportive of of Gabe being able to, uh, to go to training it's a required training that officers have to go through every year so you know she's at home, she's taking care of her son uh, Junior, and uh, you know I know for me my my kids are grown but I can think back to being four or five years old. Um, and what they were like and to be able to experience you know to go through that experience uh you you have a a child who's also about that age yeah so i've got a a five-year-old boy and uh we just had a newborn in january he's five gonna be five months tomorrow Mm. so sergio you yeah so um like galo said um i work with with uh gabe on uh south and um just a quiet guy but a good guy you know when you see somebody mm. you know they they've got that uh that um that just that personality that shines good guy very humble um i do have a four-year-old as well so you know i can relate a lot to this my wife's name is ashley mm. and she's young as mm. well and it's just a very sad situation that's that's happened um you know the the more you th- the more i think about it this I just feel for the family. I feel yeah. for the family. I feel for for everybody that's been touched, um, you know, and anybody that has a connection with, with you know, with the Colunga family. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very tragic and very unexpected. Uh, and even if it was, say, somebody's sick, and uh, it's still not easy, right? Um, I think we've all lost lo- loved ones. I know I lost my younger brother uh, just less than a year ago um just very it's just very a uh, very difficult situation yep. so you know uh obviously the loss of a loved one ultimately uh, a wife uh but one of the things that is uh, even more that makes this situation even more intense is that at the time ashley was pregnant with uh, with their child so when we're talking about what the Kalungas are going through right now, we're talking about a, a man who is dealing with the loss of his wife, loss of a child, and ultimately now has to not only cope and process this, but he also has to be there for his son and, of course, the rest of his family. So as we go into this, uh, you know, when we start when we go into this situation of being here, we're obviously here to support that family. And we're going to be talking about how the community can support this family that's in need and why. But real briefly, I want to touch on Ashley. I mean, I know that, um, you know, you've had some experience. Can you can you just touch on Ashley as a person? So um, Ashley, for the most part, I just I knew her through Gabe. Um, and the last time I had spoken to her was probably about a year ago. 
Um, and me and her were just catching up, just, you know, kind of just talking. We were at a, a buddy's uh, first year, um, his son's first year uh, birthday party. And um, there was this conversation that we were having where uh, there was a bit of a scare. And she kind of like had this health um, health related scare. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I gotcha. she, um, as we were, me and her, we were just talking. It was just, uh, she was very thankful, and all she wanted to do was just to, um, <clears throat> to to be there for uh, Gabe and and for Junior, and that's all she wanted to do. She just she wanted to be the the amazing wife and and mother that she was. And, um, uh, I think, you know, when you, when you you talk about the, just a wife in general, yeah. you know, their special connection with their children, you know, being supportive, especially as an officer's wife, uh, being able to allow your, your, and I say officer's wife, I mean, it, it doesn't either way it can work, you know, it could be a, a man supporting his, his officer wife mm -hmm. so both ways that support at home is so important and and that's what we're getting into like with this purpose of this fundraising now we know and we're going to be talking about we have a plate sale we have a raffle we have a gofundme um and you know we understand the the general public understands why you would want to raise money but i think you guys brought up a very important point to me about why you want to raise the kind of money that you want to raise. Would you mind touching on that? So um, I'm being extremely ambitious with uh, what we're attempting for. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to get somewhere in the neighborhood of $100,000, uh, which is extremely high. And, and I know, um, especially for the very short amount of time that we're able to kind of get everything together, that, that's very ambitious. Um, but the reason for that is, is this, is... Um, like you already said, not only is Gabe dealing with the loss of his wife, um, but he's also going to have to take care of Junior, um, who is very much not only having to struggle with losing his mother, um, who was always there for him, um, <clears throat> but uh, the the unfortunate trauma that, that Junior's had to suffer by... Um, uh, by being there with Ashley when she um, when she did pass away, yeah. and so I mean, just as a, as a parent, I mean, you have unbelievable nightmares that you could always come up with. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, your mind kind of goes in those crazy directions, especially. Um, but seeing a kid so innocent and just so yet to have actually even experienced life in any aspect and only knowing the love of his mother and his father. Um, to have that taken away mm -hmm. and, and so just, man. I think one of the, I think one of the things that was discussed earlier was that, you know, Gabe is going to have to focus on all types of situations right now. Right. He, th of course, he has expenses. They're, the family has expenses, funeral expenses. Right. There's all kinds of things that are that are coming their way. Like, you know, everybody understands. But we're really trying to get ahead of, when we talked about this before, we're trying to get ahead of what's coming financially right. that would normally, it's a stressor, right? Financial Finances are a big stressor for a family. So, what we're trying to do is is get ahead of uh, the situations where, as an officer, especially when we're talking about a single provider now, uh, he's you know we it's typical to work side jobs. Mm -hmm. It's typical to go and and to have to do things outside of your normal income as an officer. Right. And we want to get ahead of that because we need Gabe to be able to focus on being there. For Junior, right. we need him to not worry about going out to those side jobs, even if it's just for a little while, right. to give him that, to give Junior that focus he needs, to give Gabe that opportunity to focus on what he needs to also process, you know, this this uh, tragic situation. So I think it's very important when you start thinking about what's coming in the future that 
the take one thing, one major thing away. And if you can take some of that financial strain away, it allows him to to provide. I just want to touch on something real Go quick. Ahead. Um, the reality is cops work side jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to a side job after I'm done here. That's the fact is the dynamics at home have, have changed for, for him. You know, and I think, um, you know, like you said, uh, Trini, providing that relief, like, hey, you know what? I don't have to worry about that job or side jobs for a while so I can focus on myself, mm -hmm. right, on himself and his child is important. So thank you again for the, for this opportunity yeah. because it is important. We don't know what other, you know, circumstances are going to arise from this. Um, so this is just a small part, right, to, to help him and his family. Right. So mm -hmm. what a wonderful opportunity yes. for the citizens of San Antonio, along with officers um, all over to be able to to uh, participate in helping our, our family out. Yes. Um, I know that we have uh, we have a, a benefit raffle. Right. Mm -hmm. So we've got a raffle. Uh, you want to go ahead and go on that? Sure. So um, basically um, the benefit raffle is going to be held on July the 12th. Um, yeah, I think we have a picture here um as you can see we do have lots of great prizes um it's going to be a 20 dollar donation mm -hmm. per ticket mm -hmm. um and one of the things i want to point out um uh, this question was asked earlier um you do not have to be present to win ah, okay? okay very important yeah. um so um you know we'll go ahead and fill out your name phone numbers and 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 you're in the entry um we've got plenty of prizes a lot of handguns that we got a rifle um, and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, direct your attention to the caring for the Colunga family Facebook page which is also gonna have it's gonna be an updated updated list of prizes because we're still getting prizes Copy that. Yeah. coming in good. so yeah man yes, good that's be good great. I, I know that you're gonna be drawing for the winners at the actual event yes. where we're going to be including a plate cell that's right correct. so we've got a benefit plate sale that's coming up uh you want to go ahead and tell us about that absolutely so the plate sale is going to be held on the same day july the 12th um from 11 a.m to 4 p.m um i did put we did put or mention in the flyer that we're going to be drawing at a certain time that's 2 p.m but that can change guys mm -hmm. I mean, that's the bottom line if we're still getting people coming in and purchasing tickets then we'll go ahead and push it out just a little bit yeah but the plate sale is going to be chicken Sausage, rice, beans, well, all the trimmings. I haven't trimmings. eaten today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm hungry. Now. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard you mentioning you ate a shake or drank a shake <laughs> drank earlier. A shake. That's, that's yeah, so good. Um, you know, so it's gonna be it's it's ten dollar donation. Okay. It's a lot of food. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be during the week, so you know um, we'll get to how you can purchase later. But you know you can stop by and, and pick yourself a plate or two. Um, and so yeah, so. Yep. Those are the two things that we're going to do that day. I think that when we when we talk about this on the uh, plate sale, I think it's important for the business owners to know, hey, man, I, I can provide lunch from my crew. Hey, Absolutely. what a great day. It's a great price. Yes. Uh, so, hey, man, consider going out there, buying your guys or gals, you know, uh, a plate, you know, provide lunch for them on that day. Uh, there could be a baseball practice that's going on. Maybe you want to support your you know your little league team or something Absolutely. and take some plates out there i think you are working on the possibility that if there's a minimum order of 15 that maybe you can deliver us i, I think that's in the works right now so we'll, we'll i'm hoping that yes. that'll come yeah. come through yes but that is the plan yeah. what's the date and the times that this plate sale is taking place and you can buy raffle tickets there at the location mm -hmm. also which is 2600 i think it's 2600 plaza i think we have that there you go so 2600 Plaza is where the location is going to be. I think you're going to have uh, the availability to go inside to be able to uh, yes. eat some food, buy tickets, things of that sort. Yes, that's correct, Trini. So not to – but 26 Plaza is on the actual building, but the actual address, if okay. you GPS, is 2600 Southwest Military Drive. Okay, good. Yes, So, good. Uh, but you will see the plazas gotcha. on, on the actual building itself. Cool. Uh, we do have one of the uh, halls. Um, that's going to be available if you want to go in, um, grab a bite to eat, cool. and all that. Especially so, yes, this cool down a little bit because it's going to be very hot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous right. Texas weather. 
Awesome, man. So uh, we do have the to buy these tickets. Mm -hmm. So what do we need to do? We're I think we're going to. Uh, so page. if we're doing anybody who's not a local in San Antonio, um, if if you are a local and you are law enforcement, it's they're already making the rounds to the substations, which is going to be awesome. If you're not a local within San Antonio, you're still able to to purchase those tickets um, just by going to the Caring for the Kalungas uh web page right over here um and then on there is the uh gmail account that i set up it's caring for the kalungas at gmail.com uh just a quick google or uh just a quick um, facebook run for this page yeah and then if you guys don't have emails or if you guys don't like using your emails and you'd rather just contact me via facebook there is a a um right next to the liked page or uh, deal for it yep you can uh definitely do uh, a direct message to me okay. as well um, and then on there, on the featured page, there is the the pin comments for or the pin links for the cash app for out of state purchases. Mm -hmm. um, all I would need there is just your name, uh, information, and uh, address, mm -hmm. um, as well as how many tickets you would be willing to purchase or how many tickets you are purchasing, mm -hmm. and or if you're doing the the uh, the barbecue plates as well. Yeah, I think it's great and to get that note in there like, hey, I'm purchasing this yeah. for caring for the Kalungas fam Kalunga family. Uh, I want this many tickets. And, uh, you know, that way, you know who it's from, right. what it's for, and how many tickets they're requesting. That'll yeah. help you a lot. So, yeah, it's it's at, at this point, it's there's only a small group of us doing this. So I got you. if, um, you know, People, please just have a little bit of patience. I apologize. Yeah, that's okay. Everybody <laughs> you know? will. And if we can specify, I just had a message. Hey, I want eight tickets. Is it raffle? Is it plate? Is it right. both eight yeah. and eight? So we just need that clarification. That yep. way we don't, you know, we make that's sure that point. we um, um, uh, log it in correctly. We know great exactly point. what yeah. what is being paid for, yeah, what's yeah. being purchased. So. Yeah, yeah. On that note, if we can bring that page up one more time. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's also important to note if you can't get the plate, if you can't yeah. buy a plate, if you if you're not really wanting to to get into the raffle or one of the things they do have is a GoFundMe that's already set up. So if you just yeah. are interested in in uh, helping out and you want to give a monetary donation, you know, there's the GoFundMe link there that you can help to make happen. The GoFundMe is not just just for funeral expenses at this yeah. point. It's going to be for the long term care of, of Junior and yeah. Gabe. I know that we're looking at you know companies who might want to who are interested in whether it's helping out with a gofundme purchasing plates uh buying raffle tickets uh, and we already have some companies that have come on board so i know mm -hmm. you mentioned uh caliente harley yep. davidson you know yep. obviously biotechs is, is on board mm -hmm. uh we've got the peacemakers armory you know that's that's come forward and helped out with a lot of the uh the raffle prizes yep. so i know that you know it's it's very important to as a business to want to show our support for our law enforcement. So we invite those businesses out there that are interested in supporting, yes. you know, to get a hold of us and to help us out. It'd be a great. A yeah. Great, if uh, if any, any of those businesses want to reach out onto the, that uh, Gmail account, the caring for the Kalungas uh, Gmail, um, I have absolutely no problem um, responding to them or getting out whatever they need. I just want to add something. Um, when you pulled up the businesses, I want to thank the San Antonio Police Officers Association um, for uh, funding a large part of what we're doing awesome. here. Uh, they were, ex they're extremely supportive. And I just wanted to awesome. make that known. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, our spouses are just like us. They, they go through all those issues that we have and all those stressors. Sometimes, unfortunately, we bring them to the home. So they're, they're brothers and sisters in blue as well. So yep. SAPOA stepped up. Um, awesome. And it's just awesome. Shout out to Danny and all the ones that are up there, you know, providing for us. They've always, in my career, they've always been super impactful. And uh, so, yep, can't thank them enough. Yeah. Well, hey, man, thank you guys for joining me, okay? Thank you. Thank right. you so During this time of uncertainty, sorrow, mourning, we get an opportunity to be able to help this family. And I emphasize family because take away the uniform, take away any perceptions of law enforcement in the end we're all human we're all brothers and sisters in life and this gives us an opportunity to have that sympathy and understanding and the ability to be able to show it helping this family as they move forward coping with this situation is going to be difficult enough 
and being able to relieve some of the financial stressors would be a wonderful blessing to allow Gabe to give Junior the attention he needs along with the attention he needs himself to cope with this tragedy. Thank you for your support. 